So, you ready to see the results of the mission? In the vast, silent expanse of space, where mysteries abound, humanity has once again defied the limits of possibility. NASA, the trailblazing space agency, has just cracked open a celestial treasure chest, the largest asteroid sample ever collected. But as the space agency cracked open the vault of this astronomical treasure, what they found inside sent shockwaves through the scientific community. But what mysteries might reside at the core of this immense celestial puzzle? Could it be the key to understanding the origins of our solar system? Finally, what could these unexpected revelations mean for the fate of our planet and the very essence of human knowledge? Join us on an exciting journey as we uncover the breathtaking discoveries hidden within this asteroid sample's uncharted terrain. On September 26, 2023, a momentous event unfolded at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. The date marked the unveiling of the long-awaited sample return canister from the OSIRIS-REx mission, which had made its triumphant return to Earth just two days prior. This mission, which began on September 8, 2016, held three distinct objectives that had the global scientific community on the edge of its seats. The very essence of the OSIRIS-REx mission was to secure pristine samples from the surface of an asteroid, an endeavor that filled the hearts of scientists with hope and excitement. This celestial material was destined to be a treasure trove of knowledge, offering a unique opportunity to delve into the depths of our solar system's history and understand the composition of primitive asteroids. When the time came to open the canister's lid, the room was thick with anticipation. Scientists, technicians, and space enthusiasts held their breath as the seal was broken. The moment it revealed itself, there was an audible gasp that swept through the room. What they beheld was an astonishing layer of black dust and debris gently resting on the avionics deck of the canister. This unexpected spectacle sparked intrigue and opened Pandora's box of questions that sent the scientific community into a frenzy. The mystery deepened when the sample, carefully collected from the asteroid Bennu, was weighed. To everyone's surprise, it tipped the scales with an extra 100 grams, a significant excess over the originally collected amount. This deviation from expectations sent shockwaves through the research team. After all, the sample had been meticulously preserved in a sealed container throughout its journey back to Earth. How could this extra mass have materialized? The OSIRIS-REx mission, from its inception, was built on a tripod of goals. The first was the monumental task of sample collection, an endeavor that stood at the forefront of space exploration. The mission sought to retrieve untouched, unadulterated specimens from the very surface of an asteroid. These samples promised to be an invaluable resource for scientists who eagerly anticipated uncovering the secrets of our universe's past hidden within them. However, this mission was not solely about collecting samples. It had a second objective, characterizing the asteroid itself. Scientists were keen to unravel the enigma of Bennu's geology, hoping to map the asteroid's surface scrutinize its composition, and assess its potential as a resource for future space missions. Every detail, no matter how minuscule, held the promise of a scientific revelation. The third, and arguably the most critical objective, was Earth's impact hazard assessment. Bennu was no ordinary asteroid. It had the potential to pose a threat to our planet. On September 25, 2135, Bennu was forecasted to perform a close flyby of Earth. The gravitational influence of our planet would alter Bennu's trajectory, making precise calculations an imperative necessity. This was further complicated by non-gravitational forces like the Yarkovsky effect, which could subtly shift the asteroid's path over time. The stakes were high, as understanding the dynamics of this celestial dance was crucial for Earth's safety. When sunlight bathes a rotating asteroid, a captivating celestial dance unfolds. The asteroid's day side, kissed by the sun's warmth, begins to sizzle with heat, while its night side, veiled in darkness, cools and graciously exhales this gathered warmth into the cosmic void. This seemingly mundane exchange of energy, known as the Yarkovsky effect, 
orchestrates a subtle yet mesmerizing ballet that influences the asteroid's destiny. As this radiant performance unfolds, the Yarkovsky effect whispers its secrets to those who dare to listen. It imparts a minuscule but consequential push upon the asteroid, an ethereal nudge that gradually reshapes its celestial voyage. This quiet cosmic force, often elusive and challenging to predict, becomes a pivotal actor in the grand cosmic drama. The intrigue lies in Bennu's forthcoming cosmic sojourn. With its date with destiny, a close encounter with Earth in the year 2135, Bennu finds itself in a delicate cosmic waltz. Earth's gravitational embrace, ever so tender, will coax Bennu's path to bend in ways only the cosmos can choreograph. But there's a twist in the tale. The enigmatic Yarkovsky effect is the cosmic choreographer, its influence dancing with Earth's gravitational pull. The uncertainty surrounding the Yarkovsky effect introduces a tantalizing cosmic mystery. Scientists are in pursuit of knowledge, charting the potential trajectories that Bennu might tread. They ponder the unseen forces that may gently or firmly push on Bennu, ultimately determining its celestial footsteps as it approaches Earth. In this cosmic quest, scientists uncover a mesmerizing concept, gravitational keyholes. These are celestial gateways where trajectories align in perfect harmony with Earth's gravitational field. Bennu, in its intricate cosmic ballet, may chance upon one of these keyholes. If it does, Earth's gentle gravitational caress could direct Bennu along a precise path, setting the stage for a cosmic encore, an impact in the distant future, perhaps in the late 22nd century. The odds of this celestial spectacle unfolding are slender, like finding a cosmic needle in a vast interstellar haystack. Yet, in the grand cosmic theater, scientists are the eager spectators, seeking to unveil the secrets of the universe. Their insatiable curiosity drives them to unravel the complexities of the Yarkovsky effect and its potential influence on Bennu's celestial odyssey. Though the chances of Bennu's cosmic impact are remote, the thirst for understanding propels their relentless pursuit of knowledge, ensuring we remain stargazers of the highest order. The incredible journey to Bennu, an asteroid in the vast cosmic expanse, was nothing short of a cosmic odyssey. Osiris-Rex, a spacecraft equipped with cutting-edge technology, embarked on a remarkable two-year and four-month voyage. On a crisp December day in 2018, precisely on the 3rd of December, Osiris-Rex reached its celestial destination, having traversed an astonishing 1.4 billion miles, which is equivalent to a staggering 2.2 billion kilometers. Once it arrived in Bennu's cosmic neighborhood, Osiris-Rex didn't just sit back and relax. It initiated a captivating dance around the asteroid, gracefully slipping into orbit. But this wasn't just any celestial tango. It marked the beginning of a meticulously planned series of surveys and mapping activities. The goal? To pinpoint the most perfect spot for an audacious endeavor, the collection of a precious sample from this ancient traveler of the cosmos. Now let's fast forward to the most heart-pounding phase of the OSIRIS-REx mission, the day that space enthusiasts worldwide held their collective breath for. On the 20th of October in 2020, OSIRIS-REx had a date with destiny. This was the day when the spacecraft flexed its robotic muscles and unleashed its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, or TAGSAM for short. TAGSAM is like a sophisticated cosmic arm, but it's not your regular arm. It's attached to the spacecraft's main body, and it's designed to do something truly incredible. It's built for the daring task of collecting a pristine sample from the asteroid's rugged surface, and then, with grace and precision, placing it into the Earth return vehicle. Now you might wonder, what's so special about this? Bennu, our cosmic target, is petite, with a mere half-kilometer diameter. This means that the TAG-SAM had to perform its magic in an environment with nearly zero gravity. Talk about a challenging mission. The stakes couldn't have been higher. OSIRIS-REx had just one opportunity to get this right, with absolutely no room for error. Every detail had to be meticulously planned and executed, and any surprises could jeopardize the entire mission. It was a cosmic ballet, a choreography of celestial precision. Finally, the heart-pounding moment arrived. 
Osiris Rex made its descent and touched the surface of Bennu at a carefully selected site known as Nightingale. To collect the precious sample, a burst of nitrogen gas was released. This gas acted like a cosmic gust, stirring up the surface material, lifting it, and guiding it into the sample collection chamber. It was like a celestial heist, but instead of stealing, they were securing the treasure of knowledge. The NASA team had a minimum requirement in mind, a sample size of 60 grams. However, what followed was something that left everyone in awe. In that brief nine-second contact with Bennu, Osiris Rex managed to capture a whopping 300 grams of the sample. That's five times what NASA had initially hoped for. It was a moment of triumph for the scientists, an unexpected cosmic bonus that held promises of untold knowledge. But, as in all great adventures, there was a twist in the tale. The sample was encapsulated, but a hitch emerged. Some of the material started escaping due to a jammed flap, possibly obstructed by larger rocks. In the face of this unexpected challenge, NASA made a quick decision. They opted to skip the scheduled measurement of the sample and promptly sealed it securely for the return journey. Sometimes, in the vastness of space, even the best laid plans can encounter unexpected obstacles. On May 10, 2021, OSIRIS-REx bid farewell to its celestial companion Bennu, embarking on an epic interstellar voyage back to our precious blue planet. Nearly two and a half years later, on September 24, 2023, the spacecraft ventured into the welcoming embrace of Earth's celestial neighborhood. With delicate precision, it delicately released a small, unassuming capsule into the cosmic void. A capsule that held within it a treasure from the depths of the universe, a piece of Bennu. This cosmic courier, as it re-entered our atmosphere, became a blazing comet of sorts, hurtling through the heavens at a breathtaking 12 kilometers per second. Then, in an awe-inspiring display of engineering, the capsule gracefully unfurled its parachute, resembling a celestial ballet as it descended to Earth. The parachute, like a gentle hand, slowed the capsule's descent ensuring the precious cargo within remained unscathed. As the capsule approached Earth's surface, a hushed excitement permeated the Utah Test and Training Range, its designated landing site. NASA personnel, armed with curiosity and a sense of reverence, stood ready for the capsule's long-anticipated return. The capsule touched down with a gentle thud like a cosmic messenger finally reaching its destination. In that quiet desert expanse, an adventure spanning millions of miles concluded, leaving in its wake a tiny artifact from the far reaches of the cosmos. A couple of days after the capsule's triumphant landing, a team of NASA scientists gathered at the prestigious Johnson Space Center in Houston, gathered around the sample return canister with a mix of anticipation and reverence. This canister, like a vault of secrets, had preserved the essence of Bennu. As the lid was gingerly lifted, the atmosphere was charged with an electric sense of wonder. What they beheld exceeded all expectations. Within the canister lay a precious gift from the cosmos, a mosaic of black dust and celestial debris. This unexpected, almost otherworldly layer like stardust clung to the avionics deck revealing a celestial secret. The universe is not just vast and distant. It's intimately connected to our very existence. At this moment, Earth and the distant reaches of space had converged. The past and the future intersected in the black grains of Bennu. The OSIRIS-REx mission had not only brought back physical matter from a distant asteroid, but it also captured the imagination of humanity, igniting a sense of unity and curiosity that transcended the boundaries of our home planet. On September 26, 2023, NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston unveiled a breathtaking revelation as they gingerly lifted the lid of the precious sample canister that had safely journeyed back to Earth just two days earlier, cradling a coveted piece of an asteroid, Bennu. What they beheld was nothing short of awe-inspiring. The interior of the canister meant to preserve the celestial treasure within was cloaked in a mysterious shroud of dark powder and sand-sized particles. This unexpected layer, likely hailing from the asteroid itself, not only enrobed the canister's insides, but dared to venture outside, settling even on the delicate avionics deck that sheltered the mission's vital electronics. The question hung in the air, a riddle waiting to be unraveled. How had this celestial cargo from Bennu 
meticulously gathered and securely encased, found its way to create such a spectacular dust spectacle. According to NASA's discerning analysis, the answer lies in the gentle yet seismic touch of Osiris-Rex. As it delicately contacted Bennu's surface, a momentous encounter unfolded. Osiris-Rex's brief embrace with the asteroid appears to have birthed a celestial shockwave, one that rippled across Bennu's terrain, stirring the very essence of the asteroid itself. This otherworldly turbulence resulted in the unexpected ejection of certain materials into the vast cosmic expanse. As Osiris-Rex bid Bennu farewell and embarked on its return journey, some of these expelled materials, like celestial confetti, trailed behind the spacecraft. They adhered to its outer surfaces, leaving a breadcrumb trail of their celestial odyssey. Yet, the saga doesn't end there. A portion of these beguiling remnants managed to infiltrate the once-sealed sample canister. Intriguingly, the result is a celestial coalescence a harmonious blend of pristine asteroid samples and the stardust that had journeyed through space and time to unite with them. Together, their combined mass now tips the scales at approximately 400 grams, surpassing the stringent scientific requirements. The treasures within this cosmic canister remain remarkably unscathed, with their integrity preserved through the rigors of the return journey. Exposure to high temperatures and contamination has been minimal, ensuring that scientists have been gifted a celestial time capsule. However, the presence of this unexpected dust and debris on the avionics deck presents an intricate puzzle. Addressing this enigma necessitates a delicate choreography of expertise and precision. NASA's brilliant minds are summoned to employ specialized tools and techniques for handling and cleaning. This high-stakes operation is an art an intricate dance where the dust must be evicted from the avionics deck without endangering the mission's lifeblood, the delicate electronics. Loss of even the tiniest fragment is not an option. Each particle tells a story, and their collective narrative is essential to unraveling the secrets of Bennu. The OSIRIS-REx sample return mission is not merely a scientific feat. It's a triumph of human curiosity, ingenuity, and tenacity. It's a moment when science and exploration intertwine when we reach out to touch the stars and bring a piece of the cosmos back home. Space agencies allocate billions of dollars to explore these seemingly modest half-mile-wide space rocks for a profound reason. Asteroids serve as invaluable time capsules, preserving the ancient secrets of our solar system's infancy. These celestial bodies trace their origins back to the early solar system, a time when the planets themselves were still taking shape. Unlike Earth, which has undergone extensive geological transformations, asteroids remain pristine, housing the same fundamental materials that compose our planets. These materials have escaped the altering forces of plate tectonics and other geological processes, making them treasure troves of historical information. Asteroids hold a special record of our solar system's early days, one we can't find on Earth. Scientists are especially interested in the organic molecules on these space rocks, which are the building blocks of life. The carbon-rich asteroid Ryugu is a prime example. In 2020, Japan's Hayabusa 2 mission brought back samples from Ryugu, revealing a treasure trove of organic molecules, including amino acids. Amino acids are crucial for life as we know it, forming proteins. Finding these building blocks on an asteroid raises the exciting possibility that life's ingredients might have hitchhiked to Earth on such celestial bodies in the past. So, exploring asteroids isn't just about studying space rocks. It's a quest to uncover the ancient story of our solar system's birth and possibly solve the mysteries of life's origins. In the exciting next chapter of the space exploration saga, the OSIRIS-REx mission has evolved into OSIRIS Apex setting its sights on a celestial giant asteroid Apophis. This space behemoth is a near-Earth asteroid, a colossal rock stretching about 1,100 feet in diameter, making it a cosmic marvel worth delving into. 2029 holds a special rendezvous with destiny, as Apophis will swing by Earth in a tantalizingly close encounter. Scientists estimate the odds of an Earth impact in 2068 as a remote one in 1,500. Osiris Apex is poised to embark on this thrilling journey, joining the cosmic dance with Apophis on April 2029, mere months after it flirts with our home planet. Over 18 mesmerizing months, 
Osiris Apex will be the cosmic sentinel, circling Apophis in diligent observation. Armed with a suite of scientific instruments, it will paint a vivid portrait of the colossal space traveler. High-resolution imagery will reveal its surface features, unveiling its ancient scars and mysteries. The Osiris Apex mission is not just about seeing Apophis but understanding it. What's Apophis made of? Is it an ancient relic or has it changed over time in space? Osiris Apex will measure its size and shape like decoding a cosmic puzzle. This mission also protects Earth by helping us study near-Earth objects, improving our asteroid defense plans. Knowledge here means safety. In other cosmic news, the James Webb Space Telescope revealed Irondel, the farthest solitary star ever seen. It's a glimpse into the universe's history. Irondel's story inspires us to keep exploring the cosmos, showing the endless potential of human curiosity. Do you think the unexpected discoveries inside the asteroid sample will have practical applications here on Earth? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.